we've come back to a red car now to visit the up north combine winning loft of Colin Allenson. Good morning Colin. Morning Keith. How long have you been in sport? I started with pigeons, with strays really, when I was six year old. But I've actually flown uh, competitively in a boys club from about 10 till about 15. Yeah. And then joined the main racing clubs when I was eight, 17, 18 year old. So I've been in really since about 1965. Yeah. What's one or two of your best performances? Uh, well, the main performance was in 1977 was one of those years where no matter what I did it seemed to prove right and we finished flying in two clubs that's the Saturday club and a midweek club but with uh, 23 firsts which I don't suppose will ever happen again to me but it's unbelievable uh, that performance was the, uh, up here yeah uh, 1996 two years ago when I topped the federation uh, four weeks running uh, two national races and two other inland races that hasn't been done before in this federation, North Yorkshire. And of course the ultimate was last year with the Young Bird National when I topped the combine uh, with my blue pied end Miss Destiny. Yeah. How many pigeons here Colin? Uh, on the day at Maidstone there was 14,047 pigeons. Absolutely brilliant. What a thrill that must be. It is. Absolutely great. You've got quite an involvement with the Up North Combine, haven't you? I have. Uh, I'm a very good friend of Alfie Rothwell's, the secretary of the yeah, union, yeah. uh, one of the gentlemen of the sport, and through his uh, friendship with him, I've become manager of the Peter Lee Show, the NEHU Show of the Year, yeah. held every year in November, which is advertised as, and I would quite rightly think so, is the best one-day show in England, yeah. certainly. Yeah. I'll second that, Colin. I've been up there. It's wonderful. This is my Young Bird National winner from Maidstone, Miss Destiny she was called because of the circumstances really surrounding the win. She was a very awkward youngster and still is as you can see by the movement about, she won't sit or otherwise. She never showed at all to a cockbird and the very first race from 60 mile she had three weeks out completely. She came back, nothing wrong with her. I put her in that week to Peterborough, 150 miles, and she was actually 27th Federation. I then had a very bad race the next week, where it was touch and go whether I really sent to the National. But I picked the team out, and she was one of the nine that went. So she didn't really have a, a real fancy as a preparation for a big race. No. But she just happened to do it on the day. Yeah, wonderful. What family is she in? She's uh, Van der Weer cross Van Reet. Yeah, very pretty pigeon, mate. Very pretty. Her father topped the Federation from Melton Mowbray, was one of the four in 1996, and her mother has two second clubs, a second and a third fed, both to our own pigeons. Yeah, good winning lines, mate. What system you race your old birds on in Colin? Uh, for many, many years I was always a natural man, but in... Ninety-six. I was persuaded by another good fancier to try the roundabout system. Yeah. I never fancied Widowwood because I, I always thought my hens were too good to stop at home. Yeah. So in ninety-six, I started uh, a roundabout system. I made a few alterations in the loft to create a side to keep the ends in. Although it's not a perfect roundabout system in that I don't have boxes for ends, they're only on feed perches. We tried the system in 96 and I say I finished with four first federations, four yeah, weeks running. Absolutely with brilliant. Them. When do you pair up? Uh, I normally pair up about the week of the Blackpool show. If it's fine weather the week before, if not I'll leave it till I come home from uh, the Blackpool, yeah. usually on the Monday. How about training them? If you're on the roundabout, do you train <coughs> cocks and ends together? I set the system off where uh, I train one set back to the other set so that they get into the system of what it's all about cocks coming home to ends and vice versa yeah uh, then they are trained separately uh, i give them uh, probably two tosses a week up until they get to 200 miles where the ends are up first they're home to the racing side and then put across into the their own side and then the cock birds yeah how about feeding Feeding, I use mainly Versilaga corn. Yeah. I fly, the last two years I've flown on Prestige, which I found very, very beneficial. 
the young bird mix is, is a mixture of a couple of Versilagas, no bean and yeah. junior UK. Yeah. Do you break I, the roundabout pigeons down? I use a lot of depurative. Yeah. They are broken down, especially the early races, they sometimes get depurative until the Wednesday morning and then half and half culminating in Thursday, Friday on full mixture. Yeah. Do that actually rear a pair of youngsters before you start them on the system? All pairs rear at least one youngster. Mostly yeah. they're on one, not on two. Yeah. Uh, before I start the system. Yeah. What sort of distances do you like racing? My main distances is, is the family that I've got and the family I try to keep is, is up to Lillers, which is 320 mile. I find that with two inland nationals from Folkestone, 260 mile, three other 200 mile races and two 300 mile races, that that's where I get the most benefit from. This is a scene inside one of Colin's roundabout sections. The nest boxes face one another. And because it's late in the season now, these pigeons are now paired up. Colin has a magnificent loft. It has a section for roundabout hens. Then there's a section for the roundabout pairs. Young birds and a nice cabin on the end for baskets and corn. And all the pigeons are trapped through open doors into a corridor. A really smart affair. This is my blue checker end, 95 bred, nicknamed third choice, because the first race she won, she was the third choice from Lillers. She was first club, first federation, and 14th up north combine out of 25,000 pigeons. Since then, although she hasn't actually won a race, she has four other positions from Lillers. She was 24th combine from Folkestone National last year with 20,000 pigeons there. She's been clocked in again this year from Folkestone too, where she was fifth club, 18th federation and she has many other positions. Yeah, well She's like also the winner of two television sets and must have topped the championship club three or four times yeah. in the last two years. What family is she in, Colleen? She's actually half Bushart. Her mother is a Bushart hen that I bred in 89 from an old family through Alfie Rothwell and the father of it is a German cock I bought in as a late bred in 94. What families of pigeons you keep in, Colleen? At the moment, my main two families are Van Loons and Van der Weer. The Van Loons were introduced in 91, uh, a pair of Stadden Brothers cock and a hen which was off a pair of uh, Planet Brothers pigeons. Uh, they actually bred me a really cracking hen the first year they were paired up. Yeah. She had three combined turns from Lillers in the two years before she went down. The Van der Weers were introduced in 1988 with one through Graham Kirkham of Kirkham and Kirkham Red Car, who previously topped the combine, and I felt that the distance they were flying from, Folkestone and Lillers, 260 to 320 mile, was the distance that I wanted to concentrate on. Yeah. And it is the introduction through these Van der Weers, plus uh, a few Van Reets that I got in in 93 that bred the combine winner of last year. Yeah. How many stop birds you keep? I have 20 stock, uh, 20 stock pigeons, 10 pairs, within yeah. my system. What do you look for when you go out and get a stock bird in? Well, uh, I'm looking for something true to the family. Uh, it would have to be a decent flyer as such, and something that I felt was compatible with my own pigeons. Yeah. When you're looking at birds, you can generally tell if there's something with them, or uh, something that catches your eye, that makes you feel that that would be the pigeon as such. Yeah, it's not particularly tight, it's just like you... Not particularly tight, everything yeah. has to go together. Uh, I like a nice high, uh, the wings, uh, the stature of the pigeon, and what you can't really tell anybody is the intelligence that you, you sort of see in it. You feel pigeon. it, don't you? You feel it. Yeah. These are one or two of Colin's stock pairs. This is Collins Combine winner, which is now at stock.
This is Blue N 550, 94N, that has been fairly consistent throughout her career. She has topped the North Yorks Federation twice for a mapping in Arlo, and I found that the 200 mile or just over 200 miles seems to be her favourite point, race point, uh, on a fairly fastish day. She was actually third club, 15th Federation, two weeks ago from Folkestone, 262 miles. What firm is she then, Colin? She's Pure Van Loon, and that uh, I bred myself. The father is still in the stock loft and has bred me my best three racing ends. How many young birds do you breed each season then, Colin? Between 45 and 50, yeah. uh, normally, and before really they're flying, uh, well, I'll pick and choose whatever I think is lazy, idle or otherwise, and dispose of. Yeah. You fly a darkness system, I believe. I do. I tried it last year for the first year, uh, mainly to compete with young birds. Yeah. Uh, the club as such had that many flying on the system that the farther down the road you got, the later you were getting your pigeons compared to the darkness. Yeah. And putting them in a basket on a Friday night and seeing silky, well-feathered, what looked like yearlings, again, scruffy, molting youngsters of my own, yeah. uh, made me think, well, they must, I must have a try at it to see yeah. if it uh, proves anything. Needless to say, you're successful on it. Well, first year last year, and I can only say, well, I topped the combine on it, so yeah. uh, I can only say it's, it's, it does work. Yeah, and you've done it again this year? I've tried it again this year, exactly the same system as last year, and we'll just have to see what they perform yeah. like in the next few yeah. weeks. What's your system then, mate? Well, basically, I, I put them on darkness as soon as they weaned. They stay on darkness with only eight hours, eight to eight and a half hours of light a day. Uh, I close down whatever time I leave in the afternoon and, and leave it till next morning. I take them off usually the weekend of Borges, which is late July, uh, sorry, late June. Yeah. Uh, they then come off and are flown naturally from that time on. At yeah. the present time, I haven't got one out of 45 that have shed a flight since they came off and they came off on the 21st of yeah. June. Do you think it's detrimental to them in the long term? Having tried it one year, I'm not very happy with the performances of my earlings this year. No. Few have performed and I know a lot of other fanciers who I talk to and they've had pigeons perform to a degree, but my aiming pigeons is the old bird races yes. and at the present time I'm not over convinced that it does them any good as yearlings. No. The system of roundabout flying is basically a yearling or a yearling end system yeah. and they haven't performed like they have the last two years my yearlings. No. I'll give it, I've gone on it this year but possibly next year whether I give it a miss or whether I have a separate shed with, half, with a dozen darkness yeah. pigeons on uh, and the rest on natural. Yeah, I think that's the best idea. Right? I believe so. Yeah, that, that's what it team. looks as though. I'll split the team. Yeah. How about training your babies? I started about 10 miles uh, on the Cleveland Hills, which are about 8 miles to the south of us, yeah. which is the line that we want. And I take them on down the coast there to Scarborough, which is approximately 30, 35 miles. Yeah. I've also got to, and I think this is a must, train them on the inland route, which is down what we class as the A19, which is the main artery to the north of England, yeah. or the northeast of England, I should say, because there's that many people, especially from Newcastle, top end of Durham, and the coast, train that way, and you'd be surprised the number of races, even with a west wind, which is our helpful wind, yeah. where pigeons are coming from inland. So they must have a train that way, yeah, and right. I'll take them there to 30 to 40 miles. Yeah. How far do you race them, right through? Uh, no, I start to pick and choose after 150 miles. Yeah. Everything goes to 150. If there is something that I think uh, I'll improve by being stopped, or I need more cocks than ends, then I'll look at them then and start to stop them from that way on. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for letting me see your pigeon today, mate. It's been a great honour and a credit to you. Thanks very much. Colin Allison of Redcar.